This is the motherboard of LG uh, 34UM95P and a common problem of this monitor is the flash here get corrupted when you have the power outreach. So we need to reprogram this flash to be able to fix this uh, monitor. So Ulink NT can program this chip quite easily and I make this connector here. So this flash have the 8 pin. Uh, the model is the 25L800, which is one megabyte flash. In order to program the one megabyte flash, we need to select the one meg flash here, um, one megabyte uh, SPI, which is 25. And we only have the L400. So which means we need to create a new one. Here is a new target XML here. We copy from this, I believe is the other. Let's try to see if we have the, so development board, Let's see, okay. So the flash is 25800 and the SPI flash, the size is one zero, which is one meg and I click OK. After we create the XML, we can search for uh, 800. Clip the chip carefully and then connect the Ulink NT on it. So now we can click detect and unlike the normal case, you might see this. This says SPI flash status is 9C and configure unlock the chip. So what this says is if you have the chip in this state, you not, might not be able to, to erase it. Let's first do a read. So this is one meg flash and this is our backup. We can say, uh, I want to say, I want to say backup. And now let's try to erase it. And erase will fail because because it's it does not allow you to erase let's read back again it's not so the reason for this is the the chip is in the, the right protect state so the command to read the status is write five which is write command five to read the status and read one read one byte you see nine c and in order to unlock it we need to write say write one two but write one, two will fail because if I do this again, it is still 9C. So the command to do this is write enable first, which is write six. And then you write uh, one, two, and then write five, uh, one. This will return one. If you detect now, it allows you to do the erase. You know, you do not no longer see this. Uh, 9C again. Let me show you one more time. Okay, I plug the USB and plug it back in. And by the way, you can use this as a, a script to do this. So now I, oh, this is working now. So let me do the power on and the power off. So if I use the power to the board and let it boot up, then I remove it. Now I connect the Unink NT and try to detect again. You see the chip is in the right protect mode. What it says is in internal firmware when it boots up, it puts the chip into the lockdown mode. If you want to un unlock it, then write this sequence. So write six, and then write one, two. Then you detect one more time. Then you should be able to erase. Let's try to erase it and erase this chip and we have a command called blank check but I can we can say blank check flash is chip is blanked or we can use the initialization and do a verification make sure this chip is fully erased now I can put a you know needed firmware to it which will be this one 
I write it. And verify. So the chip is fully programmed. When the chip is locked by the firmware, uh, the W6 and W12 normally will be able to unlock it. Some chip have different command to unlock the chip. You need to refer to the uh, the data sheet. So in conclusion, uh, when the chip is in the lock state uh, after detect, please use the W command to unlock the chip and then you can do a normal operation. Uh, I will see if in the future maybe I can implement this uh, unlock feature in the code so it will automatically unlock for you.